Last year in 2019, I made a video titled How to Replace a Rubber Steel in a Jar, which is viewable on my other channel. And I have a playlist of gardening related videos on this channel, so feel free to look up the playlist and you can watch that video on there. I'll also add it to the end screen of this video so you can enjoy it. But these jars with a hinge make excellent terrariums. This one, I'll be using it for putting coffee grounds in, but you, you know, over time, the rubber seals that come with them get worn out. And what I did was I used some craft foam and I cut and made a rubber seal. And one thing I noticed is when I put the rubber seal on there, so let me put it on there, you can see where I drew a line. You don't really need to draw a line, but you see how this part is elevated? You can see right there. You simply um, press it on here. And then you can see an outline. So this outline would be the inside. And then you can use the back side once you, you know, for the outline and press. And then now you see you have an inside and outside if you line it up right. Because this jar actually has like a little lip there, which makes it great for that. But one issue is when you look at the rubber seal, which I, you know, or not the rubber seal, but the replacement seal using craft foam. Now when I close it, and even when I hook the latch on, if you notice this side is more elevated than here, it's, you know, it's, it actually went a lot better this time, but it's not the tightest seal. And one reason for that, and let me remove it. One reason is when you look at the old rubber seal and then and this one, you can see this one was thick and this one is thinner. So essentially, you want to make one that's a little thicker to give you a tighter seal. And this is more crucial if the terrarium you're trying to make, you want it to be completely airtight. So what I did was I made the second seal and I had different colors of craft foam. This is brown and you see it's twice as thick. So to get it twice as thick, this um, craft foam is just regular craft foam. This one, as you can see, is self-adhesive. So you can, you can cut out a couple squares, stick them together, so then when you make the rubber seal, you can actually get it twice as thick. Now what I did was I put the seal on here, and then when I closed it, you can see how it's closed and much tighter. And afterwards, I actually cleaned this up a little bit with a box cutter, just cutting the edge and then peeling off the shards. So anyway, this is a good way to replace the rubber seal. And you can replace it with simple craft foam. You can actually make it one ply or two plies if you want it thicker. You know, to get thicker, you want to use self-adhesive craft foam, but that's all there is. And now you can take these old jars you find at yard sales and make beautiful terrariums with them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.